Good morning. Uh, Your Honour, before we commence the live stream, I understand that my learned friend, Mr White of Senior Counsel, has an application to make on behalf of Mr Bloom. Before that application is made, can I remind members of the public, and particularly members of the media, that the contents of this application cannot be published? And it may, it may amount to an offence under the Coroner's Act if the contents of this application is published. Yes, thank you, Mr Cassidy. <clears throat> Mr White. Uh, Mr. Bloom, are you comfortable? Can you hear me all right? If you need any breaks this morning, please let her on a no. Can I ask that you keep your voice up so we can be recorded? Okay. I want to ask you some questions about a woman by the name of Andre Flum. Yes. 
you know Andre Flum, correct? Yeah. And you knew her, did you not, in 2010? Yeah. What? And did you stay with her yeah. Yeah. in 2010 in Belgium? Yeah. And did you stay with her in Belgium throughout the months of May and June in 2010? Yeah. Oh. A fortnight. Could it be that it was closer to three weeks as opposed to two weeks? No. No. I can't remember exactly the day. And when you stayed with Madame Flum at her home in Belgium in May and June of 2010, were you going by the name of Frederick David de Heverberry? And prior to coming to court this morning, did you take the time to read a volume of material that contained information relating to Madame Flum? and Did you read before this morning a police complaint that Madame Flume lodged with the Belgian police relating to you and events that took place in May and June of 2010? No. Uh, did you, before coming to court this morning, watch the court proceedings yesterday where Madame Flume gave some evidence? Yeah. Uh, 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 I did. Uh, yeah. You, you watched her evidence yesterday? Yeah. yeah, yeah on the yeah, computer? Yeah. yeah, yeah. TV. Do you understand that Madame Flume alleges against you that you stole from her a valuable coin collection that had belonged to her husband? No, 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 no. The, 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 the collection I had was given. To me by by by, uh, by 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 Pierre. If it was given to you by Pierre, why did you send some of the collection back to Pierre in June of two thousand and ten? I send the I send the whole collection. He he got go. Have me. It, it was. It, 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 it was about two 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 two, two thousand coin, coin. Uh, Madame Flume says that you stole the coins, and that the coins that you stole were valued in the order of perhaps fifteen thousand euros. Uh, I I. Uh, that there was no, no uh, 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 as I said before, I only talk, talk, 
coins with her son-in-law. I never talk coins with her or her, or her daughter. You gave evidence before her honour in February last year. Do you remember giving that evidence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the 18th of February last year, you said on your oath that Andre Flum was in a wheelchair with Alzheimer's disease and she couldn't put two words together. She was, she had Alzheimer's disease and dementia and she was sitting in a wheelchair in her room all day in a worse, probably in a worse state than I am now. Do you remember giving that evidence on oath yes, last yes, year? Yes, I did, and 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 I I I I saw saw her that way. I I was I I was I spent spent most of the time with 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 Pierre at the, at the library, and the when I only saw her when I. When, when, when I left to, to the library in the morning and when I came back to, to my room. Did you remember yesterday me asking Madame Flume some questions about whether she was confined to a wheelchair or whether she had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's yeah. or dementia when you were staying with her in May and June of 2010? I, I heard that that uh, 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 a daughter behind her said 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 no, but but uh, coming to my question, please, Mr. Yeah, Bloom, yeah. did you hear me ask those questions of Madame Flume yesterday? Yeah, 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 yes. And did you observe when I asked Madame Flume those questions yesterday that she had a Chuckle, a little laugh. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't, don't, don't I, I understand. I, and that her response to my questions as to whether she was confined to a wheelchair or diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia in May or June of 2010, she said, Smilingly, no. Yeah. Did you see that and hear that? She repeated what her daughter said. I don't think she answered any question from, 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 from herself. And would you agree with me from the observations you made of Madame Flume giving her evidence yesterday that she may have been hard of hearing somewhat? But maybe, may have had problems hearing? Maybe. maybe, maybe I, I don't know. Would you agree with me she did not present as someone who may have had Alzheimer's or dementia? Well, I object. I withdraw the question. Mr Bloom, I want to suggest to you, when you gave your evidence on oath on the 18th of February 2022, when you said Andre Flem was in a wheelchair yeah. with Alzheimer's disease and she couldn't put two words together, yeah. was a lie. Do you accept no. that? No, no, no. Uh, uh. That's the way. That's the way I saw it. I... And I want to suggest to you that you invented that lie to undermine what Andre Flume had written in a letter that was shown to you in February of last year. Do you accept that? No, 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 no.
I want to come now, if I may, please, Mr. Bloom, to a lady by the name of Ghislaine Dunois. Yes. Do you know Ghislaine Dunois? Yes. Did you have a rom romantic relationship with Madame Dunois in 2006? No, 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 sir. No, 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 not for man. Did you share a bed? No. no. With Madame Dunois no. in 2006 no. in Belgium? No. Uh, she, 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 uh, I stay there, there uh, only few, few, few nights and and the she 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 had a, a, a spare room with 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 with, with a shower. How long did you stay with her? I saw her about about uh, uh, about uh, 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 four 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 a fortnight. Oh, no. Have you read Madame Dunois' statement in the material sent to you? Yes. You've read it? Yes. yes. And did you watch her evidence yesterday morning? Yes. Do you accept that in between June and September of 2006 you were Travelling under the name of Frederick David de Heverberry. And I want you to assume, please, Mr. Bloom, that you departed Australia on the 13th of June 2006. Will you accept that? I'll accept that. And would you also accept that you re entered Australia on the 14th of September? 2006. And, and uh, as you have my, 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 my record, I flew from Frankfurt to, to I never went to Amsterdam. I, I, I went to Liège and I, I, I got from Liège to, to Frankfurt and I flew to the, uh, 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 Singapore airline back to Australia. But you agree with me you re-entered Australia on the 14th of September 2006? Yes, yes. And did you come to meet Madame Dunois by you answering a personal advertisement what? in a Belgian newspaper known as Vlan, V-L-A-N? This is correct. And you wrote her a letter? Correct. And was the purpose of writing her a letter uh, to firstly meet with her and perhaps form a friendship? No, no, uh, meet, meet with her, yes, but no, 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 not to form a friendship, no. But why did you answer the ad? Just, uh, I, 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 I yes. no. No. Can't remember. She lived in Belgium, did she not? Yes, she, she did. And in 2006, you lived in Australia, did you not, with your wife of many years, yes. Diane? Yes, yes, yes. And you had two children also living in Australia at that time? Why did you answer the ad placed by Madame Dunois in 2006 in a Belgian newspaper? This was not the first time you had answered an advertisement placed by a single woman, was it? Well, I want you to think about this, please, Mr. Bloom. What were your intentions of answering an advertisement placed by a woman in circumstances where you were married with children? Just. I can't 
exactly re remember the, 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 the term of uh, uh, that, but uh, Were your intentions, Mr. Bloom, to yes. seduce Madame Dunois and defraud her? No, 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 sir. She, 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 she ne ne never gave me anything. Yeah. Ah. But like she, she said, uh, um, uh, 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 under the table. Did you meet her for the first time in a cafe in Brussels? Possible. Did you disclose to her that you had an interest in coin collecting? Uh, no, 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 no spe specific about, about coins. I, I, I probably say that I, well, 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 that I was. In, 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 in interest, uh, uh, interested in, in, in pre Roman period. Did you ask her to collect catalogues from coin no. dealers' shops? Ne ne never did. She ne never did anything for me. She, you say she did nothing for you? Other than let you stay at her house. That's right, and 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 having, you know, a conversation, especially about the the the, the town and the history of who I was born. When you first met her, were you lodging at university accommodation? I was in I Brussels. Was, I was, I was till till I left. I had, I had, I had a, 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 a month, a month location, and I spent most of my my time uh, there, and uh, at the at the library be, be, because to go to the library I had a direct a direct tram from the uni. Was where she she was living in in far away in the server, and had no 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 communication for what I wanted to do. You understand, do you not, that Madame Dunois has given evidence on oath that you moved in to her place in Brussels? I, uh, as I said, I stayed I stayed there for for. for for four or five days. And she says that you stayed there for some weeks. No, 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 no. And that you're in a romantic relationship? Oh, what? I was in a ro romantic a ro ro relationship. No, 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 sir. And that you shared a bed together no. in her place in Brussels in Belgium? No. And she says that she quickly fell in love with you. Oh, God. Did you read that in her statement to yes. police? Yes. Her statement just, just, just lies from start to, to end. And did you also read in her statement that you promised her loads of good things? Did you promise her loads of good things, Mr. Bloom? No. Did you tell her you worked for a bank in Australia? Never. Did you ask her to marry you in Bali, in Indonesia? No, 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 sir. Did you suggest to Madame Bloom that you should marry in Bali, but for her not to tell her children? I, I, I heard all the, it's lies after lies. What, 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 
What do you want me to say? On Madam Dunois' account, Mr. Bloom, it could be said that you are lying. Do you uh, accept that? I, 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 I don't accept that. Did you say to her that after you marry in Bali, you could come and live in Australia? No. No. And did you tell Madam Bloom that you could open up a number of accounts it was for, for her four children, for them did you, did to you, access did money you, when they come to visit you and Madam Danoir in Australia? Did, did you say, ma, 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 Madam Bloom? Yeah, you might have been. If I did, I apologise. No. Did you say, Mr Bloom, yeah. to Madam Danoir, that you could open up a number of bank accounts you, for the use by her children in Australia when they visited the two of you. But, but you can't. How, how, how can you? Did you say that no, to Madame no. Danois? No. You know she says that that's what Yes, she... I, 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 I saw the... Okay. That's just lies. What do you? It, it, it's all, all el, el, elaborate. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I can't, can't understand. You say today on your oath that Ghislaine Dunois is telling lies. Uh, I, from A, A, A to Z. Yeah, right through. What, what I've read and, and, and what I've seen. Just like you said about Janet Oldenburg, correct? She too was lying? Janet Oldenburg did lie, yes. And just like you said about Jeanette Gaffney Bowen, correct? That she also lied? Well, yes. And just like you said about Monique Cornelius, that she also lied? Yeah, she she that's that's why she she never ne, never signed her uh, 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 she never signed her uh, 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 she, she she refused to, to, to sign up the 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 pos, position she made and just like you said just now about andre flume that she also has lied yes it she Pe 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 people f f f me ha 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 I think that pe people met 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 the the mine after reading reading the twenty twenty five million podcasts as they as they as they. Advertise all, all over, all, all over, all, all over the, 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 all over the, uh, what's uh, the media, the, the, uh, no, 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 sorry. Do you say that Jeanette Gaffney Bowen, when she goes to police in 1998 to complain about you, was in response to a podcast, do you? Uh, 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 I can't. Uh, uh, I can't see it any, any 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 other way. Well, I want to suggest to you that any podcast relating to Marion Barter was not in existence, Mr. Bloom, in 1998. Uh, except that. Possible. Uh, that's just what. what that's just what I thought. And I want to suggest to you also, Mr. Bloom, that there was no podcast in relation to Marion Barter in 1999 or early 2000 when Janet Oldenburg went to police to complain about you. Do you accept that? Oh, well, if, you, if, 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 you, if you say so. And I want to suggest to you... when. 
Madame Danois went to the Belgian police to complain about you, there was no podcast in existence concerning Marion Barter. Do you accept that? I, yeah, if you say And I want to suggest to you, Mr Bloom, when Madame Flem, Blum, wrote a letter complaining about you in July of 2010, having also lodged a complaint with Belgian police that year, there was no podcast in relation to Marion Barter in existence. Do you accept oh, that? I accept that, yeah. I want to suggest to you, Mr Bloom, that it is in fact you who is lying about what, what took place with the women I've just mentioned. Do you accept that? No, sir. Now, coming back, if I may, please, to Madame Dunois. <coughs> she has given evidence, as you heard yesterday, okay. that you and her were to move to Australia to start a new life together. Did you hear that? Yeah. And that was true, wasn't it? You told her that, didn't you? No. And you said to her, did you not, in 2006, that the two of you should marry in Bali? No, 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 no. I, 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 I said before, this is what life after life of all the truth. She, Why would she lie, Mr. Bloom, in 2006? Oh, 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 I, I, I don't, don't know. What would be her motivation for lying about you and her marrying in Bali and moving to Australia to, to live a new life? Oh. <coughs> I have... No, 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 no idea. Did you persuade Madame Dunois uh, to withdraw in the order of 60,000 euros? Ne ne never. 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 I know. She, 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 she claimed that, but uh, it, it ne never happened. I never, ne ne never went to a, 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 a bank. With her, like she said. No, never. She says that you persuaded her to withdraw 60,000 euros. You deny that? Yes. I, 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 she, 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 ne, never, never never gave me a, 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 a penny. In fact, every, every time I went to a place, and that amounts to must half a dozen time, I bought, I bought the food and everything. I, I she, she never, ne, never, never spent a, a, a penny on, on anything. And and he, he, she, yeah, uh, uh, with, 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 I, I, I was long. You've got my 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 tra travel record. I, I was long gone before she she sold her house. Well, I was coming to that, Mr. Bloom. Uh, uh, did you persuade her to sell her house so you could start a new life abroad? That's that's a lie. She the, the reason she was set, selling her house it was because a uh, 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 sons a uh, uh, sons 
farm bur burned out and she, she, she was go going to, to buy a, a farm in France. But well, I was long back in Australia when that, that happened. There's some similarities, is there not, between what Madame Danois has to say in comparison to what Janet Oldenburg, Jeanette Gaffney Bowen and Monique Cornelius have said in relation to you and them starting a new life? I object. My submission, Your Honour, that that's a very broad... Well, I'll, I'll oh, go, there's I'll, some similarities. I'll, I will go through it. It's a bit unfair. I'm, I'm I, I allow it. Given the evidence that's before me, I, I think it's a reasonable question. Would you like the question again, Mr Bloom? Yes, yes, yes. yes please. Will, you, will you agree with me that there are similarities between what you said to Madame Dunois about starting a new life together in comparison to what Janet Oldenburg, Jeanette Gaffney Bowen and Monique Cornelius have said about you saying to them, let's start a new life together? Like a disc who slips in my head, and 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 I I I I have a terrible head accident, and and don't don't remember accurately. Do you remember accurately helping Madame Danois pack some trunks of her belongings for shipment to Australia? In, in, a, in, a, in her statement, at one stage she said one trunk, and on another, on another statement she said two trunks. This, 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 I, I, I never. I, I, I flew back home with my little suitcase and I never, never, never had a, 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 any trunk with... Did you help her pack I, a trunk I, of I, her belongings? I, 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 she, 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 she was packing very, very strict, but I, I, I ne, ne, never, never, never. Help her uh, uh, a a a re re removalist camp and did 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 that. And was she packing a trunk from your observations, so she, that trunk could be shipped by FedEx to Australia? I I I never never sent trunks to to Australia. You deny, firstly, helping her pack yes. a trunk of her belongings. Yes. I take it. And secondly, I, I take it you deny having any involvement with the sending of that trunk to a, a location. What was it? One or, or, or two? Uh, let's just deal with one, Mr uh, Bloom. Uh, with one? No, I didn't send a, a, a trunk. Uh, I did sometimes send some some books but that would that 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 wasn't the case on, on that on, on on that occasion again do you see the similarities to what madame danois says about the trunk and what you have said in your evidence in relation to receiving from marion barter three or four wooden 
chests? Yeah, I, 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 I declare that, and 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 the 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 chests were chest for 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 chest for 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 Did you persuade Marion Barter in 1997 that you could take safe custody of her personal belongings? No, I, I, I never took custody of affairs. You have given evidence, have you not, Mr Bloom, that you received from Marion Barter yes. perhaps three or four uh, wooden I, chests containing I, her belongings? I, I, I did not. She said there were there were school 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 material. That 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 that's what she said. There were no 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 question of 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 order. Uh, I mean, that, that, that's what she said. Did you keep any of her personal belongings? I, no, I, 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 I. I, I ne, 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 never had a, any of uh, 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 belonging. Ne, ne, never, except, except, as I said, the, the crates which she said there was school material that she was sheep, sheep, shipping off, off, off to, to, to the UK. When you commenced your romantic relationship with Marion Barter in 1997. It, it Did was, you... once again, it, it wasn't a romantic... Uh, or, ro she, she, she's the one who proposed. I, it was never a, 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 a romantic. You've admitted a sexual relationship with yes. Marion Barter in 1997, yes. Mr Bloom, but correct? That, that doesn't mean it was romantic. Let's call it sexual. I'm happy to do that. When you commenced your sexual relationship with Marion Barter in 1997, <laughs> did you seek to persuade her to sell her house? No, 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 no. And did you seek to persuade her to sell her house so that the two of you could start a new life together in Europe? No, no, sir. No. And, and did you suggest to Marion Barter in 1997 that she should resign from her job as a teacher on the Gold Coast no, no. and to open up a school in Europe? No, no. No. That's something. Something she 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 said that she 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 wanted to do, but I've Did you undergo a ceremony of sorts with Marion Barter in Europe, where she may have believed she was married? Can you organise that in 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 Europe? You've got to produce all you 
birth certificate and all 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 your all your all, all your and you've got published bands at the Mary and, and you, 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 you can't just get married like, like that. Did you promise Marion Barter in 1997 that the two of you should marry abroad? No, 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 no. I, 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 I saw uh, three, three times in my life. Perhaps four, Mr. Bloom. Uh, per, 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 perhaps four, yeah. Per, 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 per. Excluding 1968. No, I didn't. I, 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 I saw her. I saw her and stayed at the house once. And I saw her on two other uh, days and that day she drove me to the bus uh, depot and returned home. I didn't stay the night. And of course you saw her at your place in Wallingbar. Sorry? You also saw her at your place in Wallingbar, just outside of Lismore, on the road to Austin. Yeah, when she, when she brought, when, 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 well, no, it's no. She she didn't come. She it was a man. It was it was it was it it, it, it was a, a little man who, who who came and delivered, and then I I I I, I then I saw her when well, I think she came well, when she came with 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 uh, uh, another person to to pick up the the boxes. Did you promise Marion Barter in 1997 that would, you would start a new life together in Bali? No, sir. No. Why would I? Uh, uh, uh. Why, why, why? You know, I'm just conscious that been nearly an hour, that perhaps it might be an appropriate time for Mr. Bloom to have a break. Yes, I think we'll have a, Is that okay? a break. Um, we could take the morning adjournment or we could... Yes, thank you. That... All right, we'll, we'll resume at 
Mr. Castleton. Mr. Bloom, are you, you comfortable? Uh, as I said before, if you need a break, please say so. Oh, I want to come now, if I may, Mr. Bloom, to Marie Landry. Marie Christine Landry. Landru. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Landru. Yeah, yeah. Marie Landru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I pronouncing her name correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A and you know her, do you not? My, my, my cousin. Is she your cousin or your cousin's wife? My, my, my cousin's wife, yeah. And is your cousin Michelle Coppernell? That, that, that's right. And is Marie a Belgian national? Yeah. And to your knowledge, does she still live in Belgium? When was the last time you had contact with Marie? Uh, last time. I, oh, 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 Was the last time you had contact with Marie about 10 or 11 years ago? And I want to take you back to 2012. And I want to suggest to you that you left Australia on the 23rd of February 2012 and travelled to Belgium. Does that sound about right? And at that time you were travelling under the name of Willie David Coppernell. Does that sound correct? Yes. And that you returned to Australia yes. via Perth yes. about the 29th of March 2012. Yes. Does that yes. sound right? Yes. If, I, if, if I need to take you to documents, I can. Yes. Oh, oh. And did you return to Perth on the 29th of Mar uh, March 2012 yes. via Indonesia? in particular the island of Bali. Yes. Yes. And when you were in Bali, were you with Marie? Yes. And had you been in Bali with Marie for some days? Oh. 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 I can't remember oh. 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 so many days. And did you stay together in a hotel in Seminyak yes. in Bali? Yes. And you shared a hotel room together, did you not? No. There were two, 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 two separate, separate rooms. Are you quite sure of that, Mr. I, Bloom? I was quite, quite sure of that. Did you? Or it was, or, or it was a, 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 a set up with two, two, two beds, can't, can't, can't exactly remember, but I certainly didn't, didn't share, share, share a bed. And prior to being with Marie in Bali, you had been with Marie in Belgium, hadn't you? Yes. And you'd been with Marie in Belgium from, I want to suggest to you, about the 24th of February, 2012. From? The 24th of February, 2012. Until? Until uh, you travelled to Bali with her. Did she pick you up on your arrival? Yes. At the, at, 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 at. Right. Right. Oh, can't, 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 
the train station. From London, and she met you there, did she not? And why were you visiting Marie in Belgium in February of two thousand and twelve? Because, because I. She put money for my inheritance because Michelle was a banker. She, she, she put money with him, and for your inheritance. That, that that's exactly it. it. Was part of it, but it was it was uh, it, it was ten million franc of Belgian franc of, of the time. Because things have changed, no, it's Euro. Now, did you go to your cousin Michelle's funeral? No, 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 no. I, I... Is the answer no? I, yeah. I, I, that, I, that's fine. I, I, no I, will suffice, Mr. I, Bloom. I did you, will you agree with me when you met Marie in February of 2012 that she was a widow? Yes. And that her husband had passed approximately seven months earlier? Yes, ma'am. And is it fair to say that prior to meeting Marie in February of 2012, you had not seen her? Other than on one occasion for twenty years, in a, in a, in a, I, I saw her at, at one of my, my mother's sister's funeral. I, I only saw so, so because I didn't go in the church. I I, I stayed out, and, and uh, yeah, I I saw I, I saw her there. And was that at a funeral of an aunt of Michelle's and perhaps an aunt of yours? And beyond that one occasion, you had not spoken directly in person with Marie for about 20 years? I, I spoke to her, to her a, few, a few times, but it was just uh, on, on occasion uh, and trying to, trying to to, you know, we're trying to get her involved uh, in in that what the, what her husband was was uh, 
the this the the I can't remember very well, but my 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 cousin has a son, and 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 the son did the things in his life that were not correct, and he 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 and and his father were were not on very a good good turn, and then. And then uh, he, obviously he died, and but he was always cruel to, to his mother. Uh, is it true, Mr. Bloom, that shortly after your cousin Michelle Coppernol had passed, that you contacted Marie yes. by telephone? Yes, regarding regarding the the the. Regarding the money of my, my mother, I did, but that was left 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 with, with her husband. And did you start to contact Marie by telephone every week shortly after Michelle had passed to no. give her news? No, 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 not every week. But I, 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 I contacted her. <laughs> A few times. If, Did you if, disclose to Marie in your conversations with her leading up to your visit in February of 2012 that you were married to Diane? She, 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 she knew. She, <coughs> she, she knew that. <coughs> Did you? On your arrival into Belgium in February of 2012, had the intention of seducing Marie? Intention of seducing? No. Seducing Marie? No. I didn't arrive in Belgium. I arrived in France. <coughs> yes, but you stayed with Marie in Belgium, in did Belgium. you not? Yes. In February. Yes, yes, yes. And March of 2012. You remember arriving at the Lille train station, yes. having taken a journey from London, do you? Yes. Now, you say you had no intentions of seducing Marie in February or March of 2012, do you, Mr Bloom? Oh, 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 oh. No. Did you say to Marie... That you buy a house in Indonesia together? No. For the two of you to live together? No. <coughs> Why did you go to Bali, Mr. Bloom, with Marie? I... <coughs> Be because. Because. <coughs> that's the that is the the airline that I, I flew with from <coughs> pardon me up, 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 from Amsterdam and <coughs> and she 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 was interesting in, in because <coughs> it was Every everyone talked about Bali, as she said, and she 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 she, she wanted to go and see the place. <coughs> Had you been to Bali prior to two thousand and twelve? I, 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 yes, I, I, I went to. I went to country member. I, I I went to Bali for 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 on how many occasions had you been to Bali prior to two thousand and twelve? Uh, two 
two or three times. One with Janet Oldenburg, correct? Yes, yes correct. In 1999. Yes. Once in 2011 for a wedding, correct? Yes, correct. What other times have you been to Bali, Mr Bloom? I went to Bali. I went to Bali. Uh, I went to Bali earlier. Uh, once. Once. Yeah. It was it one day for uh, one day for for holiday. Did you own property in Bali? Never. Had. In um, in two thousand and twelve. Did you tell Marie that you owned property no. in Bali? Why would I say that? You say you didn't? No. Did you persuade Marie to withdraw 100,000 euros from her accounts in Belgium I didn't. in order to purchase a property in Bali with you? I didn't per persuade her of anything. I just, I just said to, I, 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 that I had that, that, uh, uh, that receipt from, from my husband, and that I would have liked, maybe, that she would, 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 would consider, because considering that uh, she, she, she had. I don't know. Uh, at least six or seven properties. Considering all that, that she could be uh, annoying. That she, 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 you know, knew about the, 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 the letter of her husband. That she would, you know, probably. Not, not probably. Maybe consider give me back my, my, the, the money from my, my, my mother. Also. Did Marie give you any money in yes. February or March of 2012? She, 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 when, when we, when, when, when we departed, she said she had the money for me. So, uh, I thought, okay, but, but, uh, it, uh, what, 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 she, she put all, all her, there was, there was a safe in the room from the hotel and, and she put all her, 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 her precious thing and the money in, 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 in the, in the safe. She is the only one who had access to whatever number it was a, 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 to have. Passcode? Yeah, to, to, to get it, to do it. Yeah. And was this a safe in the hotel room in Bali? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how much money did you understand was in this safe? In I Marie's I, hotel, I, I understood that she had the hundred thousand dollars. But that's my a hundred thousand euros. Understanding, yes. In Bali. In Bali. Bali. And did she give you that one hundred thousand euros because of no the issue you've just given evidence about relating to Michelle and perhaps no. Michelle's son? No. Uh, she she gave me a, 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 an envelope. Uh, when, when, when I was leaving, she, she, she gave me an envelope, and I, 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 I realized it was only, uh, only half. The, the, it, it was uh, uh, fifty thousand euros. I, I, I uh, uh, was. Uh, uh, So I'm happy about, but uh, uh, it's only after I left that I realised that uh, that it 
was only uh, the money. The money that uh, uh, I declared at Perth Airport when I arrived and who was stolen from me later on on the Gold, Gold Coast when I went to Chang. Just so I'm very clear, Mr Bloom, you accept that Marie gave you 50,000 yeah. euro yeah. Uh, and that you entered Australia uh, with 50,000 euro. Exactly. Uh, you don't accept, as I understand your evidence, uh, that the, <laughs> the money that was given to you by Marie was for the purchase of a property jointly with you and her in Bali? No, because... What, 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 what? Yes or no is sufficient, Mr. Bloom. So, sorry? You can answer yes or no. What, what, what was the, the, the question again, please? I'll put it slightly different. Do you know that Marie alleges against you that she gave you 100,000 euros so that you could purchase a property in Bali that you and her would own jointly? I uh, have never had any intention to buy a property in Bali because, because my, 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 my... The answer uh, is uh, no. Uh, uh, no. A cousin, another cousin, had a play, play, place in, in Bali and and he he lost it because the the he, he was, the owner was a, a local. He had to have a local to to, uh, to 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 buy the place. He couldn't buy it, and he lost. It. But that's a cousin of another. Would you agree with me? For you at least, yeah. fifty thousand euro is a substantial sum of money. Yeah. yeah. And, do you understand why it was she did not transfer that sum of money to your bank account? Which, 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 which bank account? The bank account you held with the Commonwealth Bank in 2012. Yes. No, she... she, 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 she. <coughs> I, I, I don't know, but she she went to to to, to her bank, re, 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 redraw the money as as far as she to, to, told me, and 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 uh, she she told me that she, she she took it with her, but in fact, uh, when I was only given an envelope with. 50,000 euro. Do you know why she felt the need to travel from Belgium to Bali with such a substantial amount of money instead of just transferring it to you from Belgium to your account in Australia? Well, I don't know. That was, that's the way she did it. I don't know. No, no, uh, no, uh, you know. Could it be, Mr. Bloom, maybe, that... Maybe it's because she already thought of giving me only 50,000 euro and therefore she didn't want to declare at the bank. I don't know. Could it be, Mr. Bloom, that you suggested to Marie that she withdraw 100,000 euro from her account in Belgium and to take it to Bali to purchase a property. No, no, no. You say she's making up a tale, do you? That's right. Just like you have said in relation to Janet Oldenburg, who alleges you defrauded her, correct? I, I, uh, ja, ja, Janet Oldenburg, I, 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 I ne, ne, never had it. Any money on her? She, she said so. She, she, I, I, I haven't paid her here for some pay, pay for, 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 for everything. Just like Jeanette Gaffney Bowen, you say she has told lies about 
Well, you, I, I, defrauding I, or stealing from her. I didn't steal from her, and I couldn't take the I couldn't take the amount of money like, like that from a bank. I I I, I said so I, I, at the time. Just like Ghislaine Donois, who alleges you defrauded and stole from her, she's also lying on your account, correct? And just like Andre Blum, who alleges I, you stole from her, I, she also is lying, correct, on your account? Sorry? I, I, uh, I only, uh, 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 as I said before, I only dealt with, 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 with a, a son-in-law. I never had anything, any conversation about, about money with 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 her ne, 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 never uh, have you read in marie's statement uh, that she has provided that she alleges against you you stole jewelry valued in the order of 25000 euros from her well i if, if, I, I ne never had any jewelry from, from, from her. She, 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 she also said that uh, I, 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 I took some, some, some coins and, 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 and some stamps. And it, it, it's her son who has all that. No, no, I, I didn't take any of, of it. Do I understand your evidence that the $50,000 that you claim Marie gave to you was as some form of compensation for money owed to you by her husband uh, uh, or son? Yeah, it, it was. Uh, yeah, it, 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 he, he was my, 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 my mother banker. I don't have it. Uh, it, it, it was lost on, on, on the Gold Coast. I don't, I don't have it, and I ne, ne, never had. Uh, uh, ne, 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 this of this amount that, that my my mother put in, I never, never got a penny. You declared the money on your arrival at Perth Air Airport. I did. As you know, and as you've just said now, you claim you were robbed at the Pacific Fair. That's exactly in exactly. early April of two thousand and twelve. When I went to to change the to 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 to, 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 to convert the fifty thousand to a, 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 a Australian money. You made a complaint to police about the robbery, I, correct? I, I did, yeah. And you gave a statement to I, Queensland I, Police, did I, you not? I, I did. And I want to read a passage from the report prepared by the Queensland Police yes. in relation to the allegation that you were robbed. For the benefit of my learned friends, and you're on a page 3150. Thank you. The victim, I want you to assume that's you, Mr. Bloom, stated that on the 30th of March 2012, he returned to Perth. Correct? From having visited family in his native Belgium. Correct? The victim stated whilst in Belgium, he had acquired fifty thousand euro dollars given to him by cousins. Yeah, but I, 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 yeah, yeah, she, she didn't give it to me in, in, in Belgium. She gave it to you in Bali, you say. In, but, but, yeah. And you say she gave it to you in Bali for compensation for money owed to you by her husband or perhaps her son. Yeah. And that's your sworn evidence today. Yes. <clears throat> 
The Queensland Police report goes on to say this, Mr Bloom. The victim stated whilst in Belgium he had acquired €50,000 given to him by cousins for a prostate operation planned in Australia. I, 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 Is this incorrect, the version recorded no, by police? I, I may have talked to her that I had, I, may have, I had a prostate surgery, yes, and I may have told her that, but I never said that the, I, I never said that the, the, the money was for the operation. But this is a record, as you would appreciate, Mr yes, Bloom, taken by police very shortly after you were robbed. Yes, yes. And you have told police, based on their record of their interview with you, that you were given €50,000 by a cousin yeah. for a prostate operation. No, I mean, and do you say that is wrong? I may have said that I have as a prostate operation. I may have said that, but I never said that the money was for a prostate operation. I had the prostate op op operation in prostate operation. I had prostate operation and a bowel, bowel removed. Uh, I can't remember. And that prostate operation, I want to suggest to you, Mr Bloom, was through the public health system yeah. at no material expense to you. I, 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 I know, know that. Now, you gave some evidence on oath before Her Honour on the 29th of April last year. Yeah. And your sworn evidence, Mr Bloom, on this very topic was as follows. And I'm reading from the 29th of April 2022, transcript page 754, commencing at about line 35. And I declare once in Perth 50,000 euros. Correct? Sure, sure, sure. And that was the last bit of my inheritance. Yes, yes. Because and now it's an inheritance, not compensation. And at the start of your evidence after the adjournment, you gave evidence of your inheritance, correct? Now, you've given three versions, Mr Bloom, about the 50,000 euro you declared on arrival to Perth on the 29th of March 2012. First, you say, on oath, it's an inheritance. Secondly, you say on oath today, it was for compensation owed to you by your cousin Michelle and perhaps his son. And you have given a version to Queensland Police that it was for a prostate operation. Mr Bloom, which of the three is correct? I object. I, I Just one moment, Mr Bloom. Yes, Mr White. Um, uh, Your Honour, the, the evidence today uh, in my submission was that it was an inheritance. It wasn't compensation and it wasn't owed by a son. It was money that had been invested Mr Bloom said, by the mother with the cousin. There was a receipt for the money. He gave that receipt to Marie and in discussions in some form, it was suggested she consider that he be given some of that inheritance. And then he said he eventually got the 50,000 euros in Bali. I accept that was the evidence initially. And then later on, as I put fairly to this witness, he gave evidence that it was for compensation. Well, and I stand to be corrected by anyone who has a note, but that is my clear recollection of what he said in the discussion in relation to the receipt of the $50,000 in Bali. Well, my note is that the word compensation was 
a word put to Mr. Bloom. It, I think that's right. That's what my note is. And it was adopted. It was adopted. Um, I, I, I also um, accept that there may have been some confusion about the meaning of that, mm. of the word yeah. compensation. Yeah. 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 What I want to suggest to you, Mr Bloom, that perhaps Marie has given an honest account and that the $50,000 you entered Australia with on the 29th of March 2012 was money that she had provided to you for the purchase of a property in Bali. Do you accept that? No. And I want to put to you that you have given different accounts at different times as to the reason you received €50,000 in late March of 2012. Do you accept that? No, maybe, maybe, I, use, maybe I, I use the word compensation, uh, but uh, uh, my... In the language used between her and me, which is French, the word compensation means exactly what, what happened. Maybe it has another, another meaning in English, but uh, the, 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 word, the, word, the word writes the same way, but has Compound said, "What what her husband to to the word the word in French is correct. I don't see the 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 because I've used my my, my English is maybe not perfect either, but." Uh, uh, any, any, I, 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 uh, the country remember the the conversation I I had with 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 with, with her. And when I say the word compensation to, to like like you say to the po police in Queensland, I, I I again you use that word maybe in 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 in, in, in the wrong sense for for, for for the English language. And at this time late March 2012, did you tell your wife that you had received 50,000 euros <coughs> she, she knew. as part of an inheritance? She, I, 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 I told her that I was going to, 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 to change the money the, 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 day, the day I did. She, she, she knew that I came back with, but uh, no, I I put it in the bedroom. She knew when I went to when when I went to the uh, 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 to, to that fair uh, in Pacific Fair. Pa 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 Pacific Fair. That that she knew that I was I was the the the, the she knew the, the purpose of me go, going there. Did she know that you had received recently 50,000 euros by way of an inheritance or not? I, 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 I can't remember. 
I want to read to you a passage of your wife's evidence that she gave before her honour on the 15th of February last year, transcript page 316. Question, line 37. At this point in time, about 10 years ago, so 2012, do you have any memory of your husband inheriting any wealth? Answer by your wife, no. The only money he, that is you, Mr Bloom, he ever had to help him was from his family in Europe, and that was, you know, previously. How long ago was that? That was before the operation. That's prostate operation. Question, to your knowledge, did any of your husband's family in Europe invest 5 million euro? Answer, invest. Question, invest 5 million euro following someone's death. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Uh, Is your wife mistaken, do you say, I'm not, Mr Bloom? I'm, I'm not saying that she's mistaken, but I, 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 I'm a, so I, I, I just don't remember the conversation with, with, with my wife. Could it be you did not disclose to your wife a five million euro inheritance because it did not exist? What did, did? Your inheritance. Oh, oh. Oh, object to that. Would you like a break, Mr. Bloom? Mm -hmm. okay. If that's a convenient time, perhaps, Your Honour, we could take a slightly <coughs> early lunch and adjournment. I'm unconscious <coughs> of the witness needing break. Yes, um, we'll take the lunch, German, and resume at one thirty.
plus 10. Yes, Mr Castleton. No, please, Your Honour. Mr Bloom, are you comfortable? As before, if you need a break, please ask Her Honour. Okay. I want to come back to the €50,000 you say Marie provided to you in Bali. After you allege you were robbed at the Pacific Fair on the Gold Coast in early April of 2012, did you tell Marie that you'd been robbed? of the €50,000 she had given you? No. Why not? Because she, 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 You'd just been with her days before. She had given you the money. Yeah, I... Why didn't you tell her that you'd been robbed of a significant sum of money totalling 50,000 euros? The, 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 that money was mine. I, the, I didn't have to give, give her a penny, a, a penny, just, just, just to be there. You didn't say to her, Marie, I've been robbed of... The fifty thousand euros you'd give me. Will you kindly give me the other fifty thousand euros I'm entitled to? No. Didn't no. didn't do that. No. Could it be, Mr. Bloom, that you invented the story about being robbed at the Pacific Fair in early April two thousand and twelve to give you a cover story if Marie asked you for the fifty thousand back? I I I can't think. I can't think that uh, I can't. Uh, 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 uh. No, I can't. You've read Marie's statement. Uh. Yes or no, please, Mr. Bloom. Yes, I. I. I, 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 I don't, 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 don't remember. Uh, I might have, I may not. Uh, uh, uh. When you were in Bali with Marie, staying in the hotel in Seminyak, did you tell her on the day that you returned to Australia that you were leaving for a business meeting? In Bali? No, no. She, 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 she went to a, she, she went to a, uh, 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 I, uh, she, she left and went to a, uh, a massage or, or, or some, 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 something like that. And, and, uh, and I left. Did you make the appointment for her to have the massage whilst you attended a business meeting in Bali? Uh, don't remember. I think the, the 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 person at the desk of the hotel are are are, are, are in that. And is it true, as Marie says in her statement? And that you never came back to the hotel after you left for a business meeting? I, 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 I didn't go to, to business meeting and uh, I, 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 I left the hotel in, 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 a, in, in a taxi to, to, to the airport. I, we, uh, she had a, re a return t ticket to, 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 to Europe and... Uh, uh, well, I want to suggest to you, Mr Bloom, <clears throat> that Marie says in her statement that you disappeared without I, telling her that you were leaving. I, 
uh, I may I may not have told her that I, I was leaving, but I I I, 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 I didn't have any, uh, any any reason to to, to, to stay. Al although you said that I was uh, having an affair with her, uh, no. Did you send an email to Marie after you'd returned to Australia, Australia, where you said to her that you took the money as compensation for an amount that you had loaned her husband in a previous investment deal? Do you remember sending an email to that effect? Marie claims in her statement that you stole from her <coughs> jewellery, coins, coins, and stamps valued at perhaps 25,000 euros. I, 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 I told you before, all that, all that was taken by, uh, 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 by, by your, your Gregory, uh, uh, her son. When you were with Ghislaine, did you disappear and not say goodbye to her? I, I didn't have a, a, a reason to spe specifically say, say, say goodbye. I, I just went. I want to put to you that there are striking similarities on the accounts of Janet Oldenburg, Ghislaine Donoir and Marie, where they say that you just disappeared without saying goodbye and telling them what you're doing. What's, 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 the, what, what's got to do with... Uh, I, I, I. When you were in a sexual relationship with Marion Barter, did you disappear without saying goodbye to her and telling her what you were doing? She, 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 she came to my house to, to pick up the boxes and I didn't have any more a, a, anything to do. To do with her. Is the answer to my question no? Well, no, I didn't. I, I, I didn't disappear. She, she came to, to, to my place. Did you have any discussions with Ghislaine of getting engaged or getting married, Mr Bloom? No. No discussions whatsoever what? of being engaged to marry? No. And you're quite certain of that today? that you never discussed being engaged with Ghislaine Donois? You'll need to keep your voice up, please, Mr Blue. Yes, I, I, I don't remember this. No, no. I want to suggest to you that you would remember that, wouldn't you, because you were married to Diane at the time. I, 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 I know that. I want to show you a document, please, Mr Bloom.
You can read French. <laughs> Take a moment to read quietly to yourself the document I have had open for you. And do you see there, it's a document that says Ghislaine Donoir. Do you see that at the top? And do you see the next line? Is very happy to announce her engagement to Frederick de Heverberry. Do you see that? Do you see that, Mr Blue? No, no, no. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, à la grande joie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather suggest, does it not, that Ghislaine Donoir thought she was engaged to Frederick de Haverberry, correct? Uh, according to, to, to this, yes, but I, I, I've never, never seen that or whatever. I want to suggest to you that Ghislaine Donoir provided that document recently and that it has been provided to those assisting Her Honour today. Yes. Were you engaged to be married to Ghislaine Donoir? No. In 2006? No. I want to suggest to you you were. No. Mr Bloom. No. And that your denials are a lie. No, sir. I, 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 I've never, never seen that. I've never... Did you have discussions in May and June of 2006 with Elaine Donoir as to where you may hold an engagement party? No. Never. Perhaps at a restaurant by the name Nebras Restaurant? What? Dress to be Indian style, perhaps? Don't, don't remember anything like that. So you're very clear, Mr Bloom. I'm suggesting that your evidence today on oath denying having any discussions with Ghislaine Donoir about engagements to marry are false. Yes, they're false, yes. You agree with me, do you? No. no. You... I, 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 I've never seen that. I've never participated in anything of that. Mm. I, and that, that's all. I, that, that's all I know. I, 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 I don't, don't re remember such such a thing. Never, ne never seen it. Ne ne never. Could you have been caught out in a lie, Mr. Bloom, about your denials? Of being engaged to marry Ghislaine Donoir? I was never engaged. How could I be? I was never, never engaged. I was ne never, never, never engaged. To I, 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 I just don't know. Were you engaged to Florabella Remical in 1997, Mr. Bloom? No. No.
You've travelled to the United Kingdom a number of times, correct? Yeah. You lived in the United Kingdom yeah. a number of times, correct? Yeah. Have you frequented... No, not, a, not lived a number of times. I, I lived there... We, we lived there for, 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 for five, five years. Five I, years? I think. At Burwash? At Burwash, yes. You visited Kent, have you not? So, sorry? Kent. Kent. You've been to Kent. Yeah, I've, my 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 pa parents in law came, and also my wife's brother from America came at different times, and we went to uh, see different different things around where we were living. Uh, you're aware of the oust houses in Kent. The oust o a s t oust oust houses. Conical roofs or chimneys? Oh, the the art art horses. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. They they art horses in Kent. And have you ever stayed in oust housing accommodation? I I I stayed in 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 both. Did you ever stay in Kent at an Oast house with Marion Barter in 1997, Mr Bloom? No, 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 no. B&B &B type accommodation? No. And I take it you deny saying to Marion Barter, let's get married abroad and start a new life? No. Do you deny telling Marion Barter not to tell her children that you and her were to marry? No. Now, Mr Bloom, will you agree with me that you are a central party to this inquest? Okay. Central party to this inquest. I object. Right. I'll withdraw the question. Will you agree with me that you have been a central witness to this inquest? I suppose so. You're a man in your mid-80s, correct? Yeah. Ostensibly of poor health, correct? Correct. And I don't mean this pejorative, but... You're in your twilight years, correct? What? what? I don't understand the, the word. I withdraw the question. Now, I want to ask you, Mr Bloom, this question. Now is the time for you to be full and frank about your interactions with Marion Barter yeah. in 1997. Well, I Is there anything you wish to say that you have not already said no. in relation to the disappearance of Marion Barter? No, but, uh, no. just, sorry, just one moment, Mr Bloom. Yes, uh, I, I, that, Well, I was objecting because I didn't think it was a question, but there is one. There. OK, thank you. Well, I hadn't finished it. <sighs> Would you like to say anything further? in relation to the disappearance of Marion Barr. No. No. What could I say? You don't know what became of Marion Barter? No. I, I my, myself believe that she's still alive. That's what I believe. But uh, I don't, don't, don't know anything about what, what she did or, or whereabouts or, or not, nothing at, at all. Yeah. You know, that concludes the examination. Thank you, Mr. Caston. Mr. Bloom, why do you believe Marion is still alive? Because she, she, I, 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 I can't, I can't t tell you exactly when, and and and, but in a, in in a conversation before she she. 
she re, before she went went to 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 England. She 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 said that she she want to separate from her family. She didn't want any anything to do with any member of her family. She 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 was a bit of a strange person. All right. In, no. Just ask you, where were you when she said that to you? Uh, when she said that to me, she, it was uh, in her place. In her house? Yeah, in her house, yes. Where, whereabouts was that? Oh, sorry? Whereabouts? In, in Queensland, in, in... I can't remember the name of the, of the, of the server, but... Uh, uh, she, she said that she's had enough of... Her family, and she didn't want. She, she was. Oh, 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 can I, I explain to Mr. White before? The, she was strange in a way. That whatever she did, she was strange in a way. Yeah. She dressed. Well, she was. I, I, I object. I'll, I'll cut you off there, um, Mr. Bloom. But it, it's not really assisting in in what I need to find out. Um, but I will now ask Mr. Smith if he has yeah. some questions for you. Thank you, Your Honour. Mr. Bloom, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Do you have an interest in poisons? Interesting poisons. I, I, I was told. I was told that there, there has been a, 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 a. A story in the Australian that. Uh, uh, no, no, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bloom, just just listen to my question and answer my question. Do you have an interest in poisons or not? No, I'll just object, Your Honour. Right. Yeah. Just don't answer, please. Uh, I don't have an objection to the question, but perhaps the, a time frame could be put on the question. Yes, <laughs> certainly. Mr. Smith, thank you. Uh, at any point. Up to 2006, did you have an interest in poisons? As you know, I was in, interested in, in points, but not, 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 not in poison. Not, not anything about, about poison, and 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 uh, all, all I know. Uh, uh, like everybody else, the domestic poison, but my 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 my, my, my interests are were always and, and what I was reading about history, history yes, but poison, no. Well, Ghislaine Danois gave evidence yesterday that in two thousand and six, you would often discuss with her your interest in poisons. Do you it's say that is false? It's a lie, yes. Uh, Ghislaine also gave evidence yesterday that you persuaded her to withdraw funds from her bank account and that on each occasion she did withdraw funds, you attended the bank with her. I've never That's been, true, isn't it? Never been in a bank with, with her, never. Never. Is that an honest answer, Mr. Bloom? So, sorry? Is that an honest answer, Mr. Bloom? Yes, it's an honest answer. The only, the, the only place I went, went with her was a, was a what they call agent change. Uh, 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 that, that's the only place I, I went with her. But I never went to a bank with her. Um, and and oh, on do you mean a currency exchange bureau? No, it is uh, agent change. It it is somebody that you you he, he, he invest money in 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 in, in shares. It's not 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 actually cash uh, involved. It's all paper. They, they, you you can't. 
you 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 can't you you you, you can't do it, anything banking without without having without having uh, um, records of it. The bank, especially especially in Europe, they huh, you you. Yeah, you you've got to whatever you do with the bank, you've got to be able to justify with your VIT number and 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 whatever. <clears throat> Why did you go to a, a share agent I, I with Ghislaine Danois? Yeah, I went, went there because she told me that's what she was doing, and I, I went I went to to go with her, but uh, I didn't participate at anything. <coughs> she, she she just told me it was her agent change. That, that, that's all. So you stayed at her house for how long? I stayed at her, at her house for about roughly a fortnight and 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 uh, but I wasn't stay I was staying at my at, at my at, at the university, I only was visiting her, and I stayed there a few days. Four, five and on days. one of those few days when you visited her, she said she was going to a share agent, and you went with her. Is that your evidence? Is that yes? That that's that that's correct. And why did she ask you to go with you? Why? Why did she ask you to go with her? Oh, I. I I, I don't know. She, she's, you know, you, you go out for a coffee or or whatever. I just, I just, I, I, I just went with her. But there was no, there's no, there, there's no transaction possible there. So, was the name of the share agent Damien and Sons? Can't remember. And did you go to this share agent? with Ms. Donlois because you had persuaded her to exchange shares that she owned for cash. You you can't do that. You can't. It, 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 the regulation are such that you, there in, in Brussels, you, you, can't, you can't do that. The so is the answer no? Sorry? Is the answer no? No. Yes, you can't do do that. And it's correct, isn't it, that you suggested to Ms. Donois that she should apply for an international driver's license before moving to Australia with you? No. Well, in 2006, you were familiar with international driver's licenses, weren't you? So, sorry. In two thousand and six, you were familiar with international drivers' licenses, weren't you? Well, uh, uh, I was. I, uh, all all I knew is to get uh, an international drivers' license. I got every time I left Australia. I took a drive. Uh, I went to the NRMA and, and got a drive international drivers' license. This that's what people do. And you'd agree with me. You've left Australia numerous times, haven't you? Yes. So you've applied for an international driver's license numerous times? Yes. So you were very familiar in 2006 with international driver's licenses, weren't you? In Australia. Well, it's the case, isn't it, that you obtained an international driver's license in the name of Fernand Remical in Luxembourg, correct? Yes. And yes. that was a that was a false international driver's license, correct? It, well, uh, I I I just feel up. It's it's not it's not it's not it, it's not govern govern. It's not a, a govern. It's not an official thing. It's done by the by the auto club. But you weren't. Fernand Remical, when you applied for that international driver's license, were you? Yeah. Yes. You, 
you used Fernand Remical's identity to obtain that international driver's license, correct? Yes. And then you used the international driver's license to obtain a Queensland driver's license in that name, correct? Correct. So, uh, and you did those things prior to 2006, correct? Can't remember. When? I want to suggest to you that, uh, again, in light of what we've just discussed, that you suggested to Ghislaine Donoir in 2006 that she should obtain an international driver's license before moving to Australia with you. Do you agree? Um, no, I never, I never, never discussed a uh, driver's license with Ghislaine. Never. No. And I want to suggest to you that you also persuaded Marion Barter to apply for an international driver's license in the name Florabella Natalia Marion Remichel in 1997. Do you agree? No, she organized that with her, with, 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 with her de, 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 dentist. But at the time she did that in 1997, you had a Queensland driver's license in the name Fernand Nocolas Remichel, correct? Yes. I had it for a certain time until until it disappeared. It was stolen from me, or I lost it. I don't know. Because I, I, in the previous 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 uh, time, I, uh, I, I can't remember if it's in ba ba Balinao or Baron Bay. I I uh, I. Can you repeat the question, please? At the time, Marion Barter applied for an international driver's yes. license in the name Florabella Natalia yes. Marion Remichel in 1997. You had a Queensland driver's license in the name Fernand Nocolas Remichel. Yes. Correct? And that was stolen from me. I had it. I never, never used it. It was in my pocket and it was Either it was stolen or I lost it. I, I can't remember. I want to suggest but, to you. But with what? But with, with with what happened? I I I I believe that she took it because wanted... the, the the license. If I remember from last time, the the less the license was renewed, and I never never renewed that license. I want to suggest to you that you persuaded Marion Barter to apply for that international driver's license on the pretext that she would become Mrs. Remichel in your new life together overseas. Do you agree? No, sir. The, 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 she, uh, she got, she arranged, all the things were arranged with, with a dentist, which I, uh, which I never met. Uh, and is it correct that you, I'll just put to you squarely, that your evidence you've just given that Marion took your um, Queensland driver's licence in the name Fernand Nocolas Remichel and arranged her international driver's licence with her dentist without your knowledge is a lie? No, it's not. Uh, is it correct that you last saw Elaine Donoir in September 2006? Yes. Yes? I can't remember. She says the last time she saw you was in September 2006. Does that sound right to you? It, it, it may, may be the case, but... but I don't, 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 don't remember. Uh, and you accepted May, from Mr. Maybe I, I think I answered that question already to, to Mr. Castle then. Y yes. Uh, 
Yes, what you what you accepted from Mr. Castleton was that you returned to Australia on the fourteenth of September two thousand and six. Yeah. Correct. And uh, I want you to um, assume from me that your incoming passenger card when you returned to Australia on the 14th of September 2006, in answer to the question, are you bringing into Australia AUD $10,000 or more in Australian or foreign currency equivalent, you circled yes. yes. I want to suggest to you that the more than 10,000 Australian dollars or equivalent of cash that you were bringing into Australia was money you had stolen from Ghislaine Donoir. No. 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 Where was the more than $10,000 that you brought back into Australia on the 14th of September 2006 from? It was from my family. Every time, every time I came back to Australia, I always had a certain amount of money coming from my, my, my family. Yes, but I never. I always declared. I always declared every, 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 every single thing. Always. Well, you accepted. In April last year, I, I said to you, uh, is there evidence that you were collecting about a thousand Australian dollars from the accountant Oman in Europe? And you said, I said before, I sometimes took more. Yes. And I said, but on average, and you said, on average, on average. I remember that I declared in Sydney once seventeen thousand dollars. And I I remember that I've declared in Perth once, no. 17,000 euros, sorry. And I declare once in Perth, 50,000 euros, I think. And that was the last bit of my inheritance. Do you yes. say to her honor that these funds you declared in September 2006 were part of your inheritance? Yes, that, that's all it was. Is that true, Mr. Bloom? Yes, it is true. And I, I was fortunate and did you open a safety deposit box at the Commonwealth Bank six days later on the 20th of September 2006? I can't remember the day. I had at the Commonwealth Bank, I had a, 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 an envelope with because I was, it, it, there, there were lots of like no, there were lots of people stealing things, and I had the, 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 an envelope with the title of title of the house, uh, the the jury of my family, which I I disposed of since, and. Uh, You know, a few mementos, and that uh, uh, an envelope is about uh, feet, uh, twelve to fifteen uh, centimeters wide, and probably 20, 20 centimeters long. You can you can't put a lot of uh, a lot of, a lot of, of of things in it. This is an envelope, and because I had that envelope, and later on a a box uh, a box. Um, uh, the security box, or whatever you call it, uh, became available and was given to me. I, I want to suggest to you that you opened a safety deposit box at the Commonwealth Bank six days after you returned from the trip where you spent time with Ghislaine to deposit money you had stolen from her. Do you oh. agree? Yeah. And how, how do you go through? Oh, you go, you arrive at the airport and you go in, in one of those cabins where everything is, you, 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 you photographed uh, 
and uh, uh, under your bed and say, you, you go in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, one of those cabins, and you, if if I had any eh, 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 anything that that it didn't uh, declare that no, and uh, I'd be I'd be uh, uh, I'd be uh, uh, reported. You 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 can't you, you can't. Well, uh, I don't know how you travel, but you can't come to Australia these days with going. Uh, it's like an, an automatic cabin that you walk in, and and you and they they know everything you, you you've got on you. I don't know if you if you're family, familiar with, with the process, but that's the way it is. And that's the way I, I arrived in Perth. And, and I declare, I want to arrive in Perth, and I declare the money I had, be, because you can't do otherwise. They know before, they, they, they know before, before, even before you declare, they know you've got it. Well, we'll get to Perth in a minute. Ghislaine also says that you asked her to do a liver ultrasound. That's correct, isn't it? That's 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 in our dream. No, I never never ask her to. Oh my God! You say that that's in her dreams. Is it? Was that your answer? Yeah. Well, assume for me that there is documentary evidence in this inquest that Marion Barter underwent liver scans on 6 and 7 May 1997. Will you assume that for me? Everybody's free to get the liver scan. I never, I never asked her. I never, I never knew that she had that. Uh, well, I object. Uh, I object, Your Honour. Um, it's not really fair to put to him, you can assume for me, I think the document should be shown to the witness. That the, the liver think... screen tests were done. Yes. And, and then there's a base for the question, which is meant to inculpate him in some way. Certainly, Your Honour. I was only seeking to avoid difficulties of taking the witness to documents, but I'm very happy to. The right. reference is volume 13, page 3611. <laughs> You know, and I don't wish to cut across my learned friend's examination, but my learned friend referred to the word scan. Uh, yeah, it, it may have been a, a liver function test. Yes. Quite different. Okay. Certainly. It is a different test, so we better be clear on that. Yes. I don't know anything about it. Just, if you just keep it there in, in front of you, and, I, and Mr. Smith might have another question. All right. Thank you. Do, do, do you see there a document headed pathology report? Yeah. And uh, halfway down the page, do you see in capital letters Marion Barter? Yes. And do you see across to the right from that? care of Ms. L. Loveday. Yes. And do you see below that requested 6 yes. May 97? Yes. Collected 7 May 97? Yes. And do you see at the top left it's the, the document is from QML Pathology? Yes. And then 
if you go to page 3635, Thank you. Yes. Uh, do you have a document addressed to FAO uh, Clara Pataki, senior solicitor? Yes. Yeah. 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 And you see under the subheading one in bold, yes. what are the various blood tests as referred to in the pathology report? Yes. And then do you see it says the blood tests on Marion Barter dated 7 May 1997? Yes. Brackets marks have 365 QML pathology laboratory report on Marion Barter. Yes. Are the serum sugar brackets glucose, liver function tests from serum? and female hormone tests again from serum. Do you see that? Yes. I don't, uh, I don't know any, any, anything about, about yeah. right. So th this is a, a report from a doctor analyzing the pathology report I took you to earlier. Yes. So do you now accept from me that there is documentary evidence in this inquest that Marion Barter had a liver function test on or about the 7th of May, 1997. Yes. And I want to suggest to you that you asked Marion Barter to have a liver function test in or about May, 1997, before you traveled overseas with her. No, 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 no. No, 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 never. What, do you why, say? Why, 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 why does a person ask another person to, to have a leave a test? You, yeah. Do you say? I, I is... would, I would never, I, I would never done, I would never ever do that to my, my son or my daughter. What, what, what? Do you say it is? purely a coincidence that Ghislaine Donois, who alleges you defrauded her, says you asked her to have a liver function test and, and married no, Barter. That's not the evidence. Sorry, sorry, that's she's not still the evidence. alive. Objection. Sorry, I'll, rest I'll I withdraw that. I'll restate the question. Do you say it is purely a coincidence that Ghislaine Donois, who alleges you defrauded her, uh, says that you asked her to have a liver ultrasound and that Marion Barter, mm. according to this document, had a liver function test at or about the time you were in a sexual relationship with her. Well, I object. Well, I, I object, John, because there's no evidence to establish the correlation between a liver ultrasound and a liver function test. And, in fact, at page... 3635 that Your Honour's been taken to in relation to the question before last, it's identified by a notation under one, although liver tests in blood are routinely called liver function tests, they're not really tests of liver function, more so of liver injury. So I don't think that question's fair because there's no correlation established. This is affecting your... No, it's not, Your Honour, but, I mean, from the position that I have as a barrister, I'm entitled to raise an objection when it's a fairness issue. All right, thank you. It's noted. Um, Mr White? No, well, I, I make the similar objection, and it, it is in the interest of my client to do so, and also on the basis that, that there is a, an assumption in the question that, that that is a coincidence. They are two very different tests. Um, as your honour pleases. There's not much weight I could give to, to any answer. Thank you, Mr Smith. As your honour pleases. Uh, now, is it correct that you met with uh, 
Marie Christine on about the 24th of February, 2012. Yeah. And is it correct that you came back to Australia from that trip on about the 29th of March, 2012? Yeah, if it's, if it's the date, it's But you, 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 you have a record of more, all my travels, so you know, yes, you, yeah. you, 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 you know better than, than me. I can't, can't, can't remember. Yes. Your, there is an incoming passenger card uh, at volume 10, page 2954, which shows you returning to Australia on the 29th of March, 2012. Yeah, and where, where are the, so that I can... Where were you coming back into? Yes, was it in, in Sydney, in Perth, or where? It's, it's not clear to me on the face of the document, but I think you gave evidence to Mr. Castleton earlier that, uh, that on that occasion you returned to Perth. To Perth, yes, all right. And your evidence earlier was that you returned, uh, was that uh, you had been in Bali prior to that? Yes. And prior to being in Bali, you had been in Belgium staying with Marie Christine, is that correct? Yes. And were you in Belgium for all of the time between the 24th of February, 2012, when you met with Marie Christine? No, no, I, I, we, 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 we went to, to France. So during that she, period, she, you were in Belgium and France? She, she, she leaves with, with right uh, 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 right on the custom borderline that uh, in, in Belgium and France just on the on the on the uh, border is right on the border yes so you spent time in Belgium and France on that trip is that right yes well she does a shopping in France I mean you know it's 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 closer than to go on shopping anywhere in Belgium. And did you go to any other countries on that trip? Other countries? Not a, not a, not, not as I can, can, can remember. Could the witness be shown volume 10, page 2954, please? I don't, well, I've only got the tab numbers. Oh, wait a minute, 254, I'll try these one. 2954, was it? Oh, no, that's not right. Two, 294. 294. 294, is that it? 2954 is a passenger car. Yeah, I know. Incoming. 
Yes, I'm just waiting. Does everyone, can we ask, have the question asked yet? Yes, yes. Um, are, ready. Um, are, you, are you ready? Yes, we're ready for a question. Ready for a question, yes. Mr Smith. Thank you. Do you see there an incoming passenger cart, Mr Vaughan? Yep. And do you see in the bottom half on the right-hand side the letter C inside a black circle, resident returning to Australia. Yes. And then country where you spent most time abroad. Do you see that? Yes. Huh? And do you agree do you agree you filled out this card? Yes. And do you see the date, twenty ninth of March two thousand and twelve? That's what it says, yes which is the date I was just putting to you earlier. Yes. And do you see that you wrote country where you spent most time abroad, Germany? Yes. Now, if you had spent your time in Belgium and France with Marie Christine, why did you write on this card you'd spent most of your time in Germany? Well, I spent some time in Germany, yes, but uh, I can't, 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 can't remember. Well, do you remember I asked you before, did you spend time in any other countries? Well, I, 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 I went to Germany because I had to, to ca catch my, I had to catch my, my, my flight to, to, to re return home. I, I spent time in, in, in Liège, which is a, a, a city in Belgium, on the, uh, uh, and I, uh, from there I took the train to the train to to, to Frankfurt, where I, I caught my, my flight back home. That doesn't. Do you agree? That doesn't explain why you've written that you spent most of your time abroad in Germany. Well, I, I can't give an explanation. Is the explanation? I spent time in, in Belgium. I, I spent time in, in, in. In Germany, yes, but that's about it. I... Is what, the explanation... What, what's so special about it? Is the explanation that you had defrauded Marie-Christine Landrieu of 100,000 euros and you were attempting to cover your tracks by not stating that you'd spent most of your time in Belgium? I spent time because I I had people to see, I had family to see. I I spent time in, the, in various places. What what's the what 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 was the? Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't understand. I under, don't understand. And was it your evidence earlier today? that do you see on this card in the bottom half on the left hand side it says in which country did you board this flight or ship yes indonesia you see that yes yes was it your well, evidence well, the, 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 the 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 because the the plan the the plan the the the, the flights probably was an Indonesian flight, I can't, 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 can't. 
<laughs> just one moment, Mr. Bloom. We'll just wait for the question. So, sorry. Just wait for the question. What's the question, please, Mr. Smith? And was your evidence earlier today that the only reason you went to Indonesia at this time was because of the airline? Well, uh, I suppose so. I, 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 I. The, the reason I kept from Indonesia is because I was flying with the, with, with, the, with, with the airlines with, that was doing that. that. You're on now, the call. Mr. Smith asks his ne next question. I, I just make the observation that Mr. Bloom has been seated for over an hour yeah. and I'm conscious as to whether he requires a, a short break. Thing, thing, thing. We, we might take a break. No, no, no I, I, I'd like. You'd like to keep going. I'd like to get, to get this over. Um, uh, uh, it, it's really up to you, Mr. Bloom. If, if you would like a break, we can have one. But if you yeah, want to keep going, I'll, I'd, I'd rather keep going. We and can keep going. Get, get over it. But please let me know if you need yes, a break. Yes, I would. Have you read in Marie Christine's statement that she alleges you and her were going to fly to Bali together on the 23rd of March 2012? To go. You and her were going to fly to Bali together on the 23rd of March 2012? Yeah, probably. As in, you, you'll accept that's what she says in her statement? What, what, she, what, what she said? She said that you and her were going to fly to Bali yes. and that your departure was scheduled for the 23rd of March 2012. Yes. And she says in her statement that she went to Bali with you on about that day. Yeah. What's the... And do you see on your incoming passenger card, you've returned to Australia from Indonesia on the 29th of March 2012. Yes. What I want to suggest to you is that you spent approximately five or six days in Bali with Marie Christine Landrieur and yes. that the date 29 March 2012 on your incoming passenger card supports that. Yes. Do you accept that you spent five or six days in Bali with Marie Christine Londrieu? Yes. I also want to suggest to you that in about May 1997, when you were in a sexual relationship with Marion Barter, you suggested that she should start a new life with you overseas in Luxembourg under the name Florabella Natalia Marion Remichel. No. Did you suggest to her that you should start a new life together in the United Kingdom? No. If, if, Did you suggest if, to her... If, if you... It's, it's, just listen to the next question. You, you've yeah. answered that question. There'll be another okay. question. And just right. answer the question. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, Mr Smith. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you suggest to her that she should buy a school in the United Kingdom to run? No, that's the reason why. That that's the reason why she brought those boxes in in, in my place before going. She brought those boxes because, as she said to me, it was didactic, dig, didactic school material that she was shipping shipping 
to, to England, but I, I n never knew what the box was sealed and, and circled with uh, metal, and uh, I, I never, I then, then never knew what exactly was in, but that, uh, and, and then the, they come and pick them up and, 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 and send them uh, from somewhere uh, on the Gold Coast to, to go to England. I, I don't know. And you gave evidence earlier that a man came to your house in Wollongbar to pick up those boxes. Is that right? Yes. Can you describe that man? Yes. Please do so. Did you hear the question, Mr. Bloom? No. Oh, you might not have heard it. Uh, Mr. Smith just said, could you describe the man? Well, I, uh, I thought he, uh, I thought he was, he, he was a fairly uh, big, bigger build. And I thought he was either in the uh, aviation or in the Navy because of, uh, because of his uh, uniform or whatever. Uh, what, what you call it, and uh, that, that's all. That's all. That's all I know. What? Well, well, I, 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 I can't describe the, uh, uh, what, 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 what. do you want to know? Do you want to know what? What? If if he was white or 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 I I, I, I don't, don't don't understand the sense sense of the question. Did you travel around the United Kingdom with Marion Barter and suggest to her whilst you were there with her that she should buy a school in the United Kingdom? No. Did you use the prospect of buying a school in the United Kingdom to persuade Marion Barter to withdraw money from her bank account? No, I never, never had any money from Marion Bar. Never. I want to suggest to you that you had contact with Marion Bada after she returned to Australia on the 2nd of August 1997. What do you say to that? Can I just object to the question and ask my friend what the basis for that positive proposition is? Yes. I'll rephrase it, Your Honour. It could be a question. You, I withdraw the question. Thank Did you. you have contact with Marion Barda after she returned to Australia on the 2nd of August 1997? No. Never, ne never saw her, never spoken to her. Despite the fact that the, you the, returned... The, to the reason being because of the, 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 kind, of, the kind of person she... She, she was. Despite the fact that you yourself returned to Australia only two days earlier, on the 31st of July, 1997? Well, circumstances, I, I, I can't explain what, I, I know the plane, the, 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 the flight I took, I don't know what, what, what uh, 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 you know, uh, she was so much, uh, I believe that she come with. Uh, I believe that she come with a Korean uh, 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 airline, uh, if, if I remember well, and uh, and that she she was so much involved with the Korean uh, to to the school in 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 the school in in Queensland, uh, just on the border there that she, she probably got, uh, you know, uh, someone, uh, I, I don't know, paying for a trip or whatever, I don't know. Can I, I, can I make a, an objection at this point? And it, this is subject, of course, to Your Honour's view about the value of any of this evidence. Um, in my submission, the questioning should be limited to the evidence we've heard from the uh, two new women from overseas that we've been dealing with over the last few days. 
Now, I can understand if there's a question that arises from that evidence yes. that might be relevant back to 1997, but this sort of open-ended, repetitive evidence that I'm sure everyone else has heard before here doesn't seem to be of any use to Your Honour. Well, uh, the, the, I think that, that we do need to, to limit the questions, Mr Smith, to the evidence that we've heard in this tranche. Yes, Your Honour, I'm coming directly to that now. Thank Bearing you. in mind Mr um, Bloom's state and the limited time we have. Yes. I'm, I'm coming directly to that now. Thank you. And uh, arising from the evidence of Ghislaine Donoir that you persuaded her to withdraw money from her bank account and the evidence of Marie-Christine Landrieu that you persuaded her to withdraw money from her bank account. Did you pers persuade Marion Barter to withdraw funds from her bank account between August and October 1997? No, sir. Never had a penny of Marion back. Never. Did you persuade her to withdraw $80,000 from her bank account on or about the 15th of October, 1997 in Byron Bay? No, sir. In the period August to October, 1997, did you deceive Marion Barter in any way for your own financial advantage? No, sir. And when you gave evidence earlier that Marion told you she wanted to separate from her family, that was a lie, wasn't it? No, sir. And you agree with me, you've been asked on a number of occasions previously in this inquest, if you know what happened to Marion Barter? I don't know. And you never before today said anything to that effect that she wanted to separate from her family in answer to any of those questions, did you? Because that's, that, that's the conversation she had. That, that's all I can... Thank you, Your Honour. No further questions. Thank you. Ms. Burke? No questions. Thank you, Your Honour. Mr. White? No, no questions. Anything arising, Ms. Castleman? Your Honour, I have uh, an application of sorts to make. Uh, I'd like uh, the opportunity overnight to consider the transcript of evidence and, and some aspects of the evidence that has been given today and to reserve my rights as to whether or not I need to re examine Mr. Bloom. If I form the view that I do, I'm not adverse to Mr Bloom giving his evidence by AVL tomorrow morning, but of course I accept as I must that it's a matter ultimately for Your Honour. Yes. If that application is granted. Yes. Um, I don't know if anyone else wishes to be heard at this point. Um, well, I, 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 can, I can say that if there is further evidence and it has to be by AVL, I can assist with being with Mr Bloom somewhere with my laptop. Thanks I very much, link. Mr White. We, we wouldn't be heard against that, Your Honour. Thanks, Mr Smith. I will, um, I will adjourn now um, and I accept that Mr Castleton um, has reserved his right and um, I accept there are good reasons for that. Um, that it may be necessary for Mr Bloom to, um, to continue his evidence tomorrow. Um, however, I will allow that evidence to be given via audiovisual link if, if that is the preference um, of your client, Mr White. Could I raise one matter, Your Honour? Yes, Mr Smith. Yes, for, for abundant caution, if we are proceeding to oral submissions tomorrow, I understand that those oral submissions will be limited only to matters that have arisen in these three days of the hearing, as opposed to any broader issues in the inquest. Is that right? 
Mr Smith, uh, we might just say a few words about that now and it might answer your questions. Certainly, thank you. You know, I'm just wondering whether uh, I'm conscious that Mr Bloom is in the witness box. If Your Honour could take a short adjournment, I can confirm some instructions and then perhaps in 10 minutes, if Your Honour's minded to resume and we can deal with the matters just raised yes. by Mr Smith and, and the mechanics of what may occur tomorrow. Yes, so Mr Bloom is excused for today but may be, may be required to continue the evidence tomorrow, but we will let Mr White know. So we'll adjourn for 10 minutes. Yes, thank you.
right too. Yeah. Council then. Uh, Your Honour, thank you for the time. Uh, can I indicate to Your Honour, to my learned friends, that I will require Mr Bloom for re-examination tomorrow morning. As I said before, the short adjournment that I would not stand in the way of Mr Bloom giving his evidence remotely via AVL. Uh, and it's my submission that uh, Mr Bloom that should be ready to give his evidence at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes. Uh, the second thing I wish to deal with is a matter that Mr Smith uh, raised around uh, oral address. It's my application that, given the evidence that Your Honour has heard today and yesterday, uh, that it would be sensible that those assisting Your Honour reduce their oral address to writing uh, with a timetable to enable interested parties to respond and those assisting Your Honour to reply to any submissions that the parties file. What I propose in relation to that matter is that my instructing solicitor will circulate a proposed timetable uh, to counsel all the various parties for their consideration and hopefully that matter can be Agreed upon? Yes, thank you. Mr. Cuthbert. Uh, the only other matter, Your Honour, is that it's been brought to my attention uh, that a media outlet that may have published a image of Mr Bloom giving his evidence. And if those instructions are accurate, that may be a contravention the Court Securities Act of 2005, in particular Section 9B. And I wonder whether it's appropriate, if Your Honour, was to publicly give a warning again in relation to that provision. Yes, I will. Um, it has come to my attention as well, and Mr Castleton, on, on the first day of this tranche, um, made it very clear that it was prohibited. Section 9B prohibits any transmission of any um, photos being taken of the recordings. Wherever you are, if you take a photo, well, for a start, that's not permitted, and it's certainly not to be published. Um, the penalty for the breach of Section 9B of the Court Securities Act is 200 penalty units and 12 months imprisonment, or both. So it's a serious contravention to do this. And once again, I warn any media outlets that this is strictly prohibited and you have been warned now twice not to do this. We'll adjourn now until 10am tomorrow.